Good? Yeah. Good. 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 yeah. All right, definitely. Um, I do spoken word poetry, so if you guys like anything I'm saying, you don't have to be quiet for me. You can give me a ooh and ah, <laughs> uh, a grunt, uh, <laughs> you know, whatever you guys want. Um, so today being Cinco de Mayo, um, this is kind of within my history of being Latino and, um, what, you know, the trials of my family. So it goes like this. My skin, brown and beautiful, yet a rugged coat that covers veins that mimic tree roots that lay over the dust of my bones, these veins. They look like roots that were left from an uprooted, forgotten family tree. Having me plant seeds in the missing person section of my life with ideas of what I thought a family was that I learned from pop-up books growing up. And that word, family, bangs in the back of my head like a recycled hip-hop beat as my childhood memories beat me up, showing me I was never really worth your time. And I remember times of watching my grandparents grip rosary beads like they were trying to strangle God the day that he rested, allowing me to be conceived. And the day that I was received into this world, I was born with the mentality I was a natural disaster, born on all fault lines of the family problems, the way you spoke of me like I was a result of a broken condom mistake, but there was no pills to abort the firing squad of lies you gunned me down with. Like I was your target practice to show God he was lazy with my creation, causing verbal wars in households, saying I'm a disgrace to the Romero name. Well, if that was true, then y'all know better than the dirt our ancestors have died on, causing Spanish to be cremated on the back of my vocal cords, making me lose my native tongue the day you spoke me out of family portraits. And picture this. I found refuge in a family who had more melanin in their skin than me. They saw the cotton field of a heart that had been picked apart, my vulnerability hanging next to their ancestry. And your abandonment still to this day has built me like a foster care system. A soul like the city, a mouth full of silver bullets, a heart that looks like an exploded grenade with prayers aimed to the heavens that one day I will know what it will be like to sit at a family reunion, laugh until the generations of our blood are shaken like a rumble bar fight. I can count the generations of my cousins like duck, duck, goose, you it, just to see if they'll chase us, to close the distance between us, but there's been no conversation between us for years. Like La Migra is circling my I love yous and forgive yous, preventing them from crossing that unspoken border in you. Speaking of me as your grandson and nephew are words that will never gain citizenship in your vocabulary. But I'm over this family feud and war within myself. One day, I will meet a gal who wants to take these roots and plant them to grow our own family tree. And we'll do it on the foundation of my parents. A mother who has a smile like a quinceanera on a summer day. Or a father who has the heart of an Aztec warrior. And when we plant this family tree, it will grow to be stronger than ever. Thank you. <laughs>